Thank you guys for cleaning the place up for my arrival. I appreciate Thank it. You. No problem. It's beautiful. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, what's it like being here doing season two now? I mean, did you guys expect the first season? I guess you can never really tell, but the first season was a success, got a lot of fans. What's the mindset like going into season two now? Oh, so much pressure. I just want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's so much fun. Uh, we're, you know, everyone finished season one and went away and did their own thing and... and it was so exciting to get the script for the, the first episode of, of season two. Being back in Shreveport, everyone's very, f we're all very familiar with it now, so everyone feels at home here. Um, we all know each other a lot better, yeah. so everyone's very respectful of people's uh, process and the way they get into things. And we all know where our characters are. Um, yeah. yeah. See, it's so much easier to dive into it than it was the first season because we were still just like, really new to it and it's a new crew and all that's you know you just you, you're getting to know each other so now for season two it's sort of like we're coming back with our to see our family and it's everyone is here just to play and have fun and you have such a especially when you have a script like Salem I mean when you have such a great thing to work off of I mean it's just it literally is like we're playing we're like Little children having yeah. doing playtime. <laughs> you can really, you can really tell that um, Adam and Brannon were away, um, doing everything they could to just push it more and to make it more violent and darker and, and scarier and and uh, just all around more horrific. And they succeeded. And they they succeeded. succeeded. If that's possible, because yeah. the first season oh. went some really dark, deep, disturbing places. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, they, they did. They pushed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our opener is pretty dark. It is. It is. I've seen it. Yeah. Um, now, you characters in the season finale both had some major events happen to you. Mm -hmm. Where do we find them at the beginning of season two? Literally right after what has happened, um, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, basically... Yeah, it's like three days later, I think. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And so for, well, what, for Ido? <laughs> well, I'm obviously very glad that Isaac makes it. He did. Um, by the skin of his teeth. Um, and he, you know, he's, he's very much part of, part of the whole situation in Salem. You know, the plague's running rife through town. And you know, it's just a big issue. And... Uh, it seems like he's patient zero, kind of too. Like. Yeah, yeah, uh, and uh, which is which is really cool, and it, it's really interesting how, with with all the stuff that he always goes through, what I really love about the character is it, they manage to kind of turn it around somehow. I always read stuff, and I'm like, how am I, how am I gonna get, <laughs> get out, out of that? This? Right. <laughs> um, but they they manage to put it together and tell a story at the same time. Um, so that's very exciting. But he's got like he's got like a really fun a really fun journey, as do as as do all the characters. A lot of lot of new, strange visitors in town, mm -hmm. people we don't know about, and mm -hmm. everyone's everyone's after a piece of uh, Mary's witch cake. And are we going to see you become a villain in this season? Because it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, she was so innocent in the first season, and then she's made this well, journey. Well, she's innocent. innocent. I don't know. And you feel like, bad for her. <laughs> well, in the first couple of episodes, yeah. yeah. And then she becomes, like, she just kills so many people that you lose count. And then, <laughs> um, and then by season two, she's just spiteful, and she seeks revenge. And I think when somebody who's been so abused and tortured and betrayed so many times, I think... You know, it's sort of like just, it's like in your stomach and you have, it just bursts out. And so then she just wants to kill anything that she sees. So, yeah, it's she's a, quality. it's a villain, but it's also, you know, you feel, yeah, it is that sorrow that she's just, she never gets what she wants. Yeah.